There are home batteries out there on the market. They've yet to really take off. How is Tesla's offering different? Uh, that's a really good question. I, I think the thing that we're most excited about in the offering that Tesla's making and the announcement that Elon Musk made yesterday is drawing attention to the problem. And that problem is that electricity is an on-demand product. So in a coal-fired power plant or nuclear power plant, we turn knobs up and down to create electricity per the demand of the consumer. But as we increasingly move to wind and solar, we need to be able to store that energy as it's being produced for later use. And the real beauty of this problem, as Elon Musk said yesterday, if we solve what is a first world problem, and that is a desire for all of us to drive Teslas, and for those of you in your audience that haven't driven a Tesla vehicle, I assure you, you want to. It's a really beautiful, wonderful car. And get electricity from the sun and the wind. And that is a real first world problem. We want to have phones that last a long time. But by solving this problem, we address a problem in developing countries, countries where the grid is either unstable or doesn't exist. If we can couple inexpensive solar with batteries like Tesla's offering, we will actually change lives, millions, hundreds of millions of lives around the planet. But how is Tesla's battery any different or better than the other batteries on the market, David? I mean, is this about the Tesla brand? Can Tesla make batteries cool like cars, like its cars? I mean, it's so integral to the car that they've created. Uh, they've clearly been spending a lot of time and energy on perfecting the batteries for those cars. So uh, the sense that I got from talking to analysts is that uh, fundamentally the technology here uh, is not that different, that radically different from, from what's out there. Again, Elon Musk has spent now many years trying to perfect his batteries, try to make them last longer and run more efficiently. Uh, you know, what stands out here, I think, is that he's presenting a product that's very well integrated, that, uh, you know, you could put one of these in your house, say, uh, connect it to the solar panel on your roof, uh, and there you go. So it's, it's less cobbling things together than you've had to in the past. Right, but how many U.S. households, Jeff, U.S. households are actually using battery power at the moment? And, and, and how many are considering using battery power? What is the real potential here, Jeff? It's a, it's a very small fraction when we think of the United States. It's a very small fraction with the exception of Hawaii and Alaska. In Hawaii, it's an islanded grid, literally, and the cost there about 35 cents per kilowatt hour. So solar has penetrated about 20% of the individual's homes in terms of implementation, and batteries are required for that application. But I do want to just echo what, what David just said. The cost of this battery system is between $350 and $425 per kilowatt hour, depending on whether it's a 10 kilowatt hour battery or 7 kilowatt hour battery. And that is perfectly in line with most other battery offerings on the market. So the question is one of integration. Right, but an average household spending three to $3,000 to $3,500 on a battery, is that really realistic, David? Um, I think that it may be. I think that the goal here is to get that price to come down even more. So right now, I think this is going to appeal to a pretty select part of the market. Uh, maybe that's people who live in a place where the grid uh, is less reliable. Maybe it's a place where uh, there are more storms than others, where, where you're at greater risk of being kicked off the grid, um, if there are brownouts, things like that. Uh, again, though, I think you know the, the, the goal here as articulated by Elon Musk now for, for several years, is to get the price of batteries down. First, it was to push down the, the, the price or the cost of solar panels. That's happened, and now batteries have become the focus. So, um, yeah, I think that it is a high burden for, for everyone, and certainly, uh, you know, as we talk about how this might expand into the developing world, w with a price tag like 3000 3500 that seems prohibitive at this point. Uh, but as this catches on, as it expands, you know, maybe that could change. What's the battery market look like abroad, Jeff? I know that Germany, for example, does use a lot of solar power. Uh, they do, and, and this is what I was mentioning earlier. The, the, there's a real open market if we can understand better microgrids or islanded grids. There, is certainly, there are certainly markets where there is a well-developed grid, whether that be in, in North America or in Europe. But a real target for companies, if, if I were running a company, would be the places where the grid is either desperately in need for an upgrade or the grid doesn't exist. So there's an enormous market out there in uh, rural India and sub-Saharan Africa and in rural China where there's just a need for electricity, a raw need for electricity. And if I may go back to something David just said, although Tesla's price point today seems high at $350 per kilowatt hour, it was merely five years ago where the costs were over $1,000 per kilowatt hour. So that means back then it would have been over $10,000 a mere five years ago to put the same battery 
in your garage. And when you look at the U.S., in California, if you are going over a certain peak load, you're paying an exorbitant uh, extra cost for your electricity. So there is a market in California today. And if we can break into that market, the cost will continue to drop down from $350 per kilowatt hour.